Coming up, we go behind the scenes of an exciting new play that examines Wellington's dark medical history. Oh, look at that. We're back soon. Scott, maybe you can talk about the next picture that we're about to see because this picture is of you and it's a, it's a, it's a thing that you're involved yeah. in called quarantine. Well, it's not a picture of you, actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. But this is it's part amazing. of quarantine. <laughs> which is, <laughs> this, is, this is a quarantine, a, a play that you're involved with uh, on Soames Island. Tell yeah. us about it. Absolutely. Well, the, the play itself is a uh, his historical horror about the human quarantines from the 1800s. Right. And it just shares um, the story of the island's history and, and uh, connecting it to the modern context of um, people and consumerism and it, it really delves deeply into that mentality but what you're looking at here is some um, promotional footage um, for the play that's Phoebe Smith in the in the front with her bleeding eye there's me there's with, you with my little welts and and bleeding and pus suffering from smallpox in the old quarantine barracks up on Sums Island tell us about your character and, and I guess what you had to find out before actually doing this play because there's a lot of research that had to be done yeah I mean there was for me there was two folds of research on, on one that the character itself and the, the type of people that were coming over to New Zealand and thankfully our writer Luke Hawker um, wrote a fantastic script and he created a character called Horace Braithwaite who, right. who I portray uh -huh. and he's like an English gentleman from wealth and class coming over to New Zealand to strengthen its economy and on his way over, he suffers from smallpox. And, right. and so to prepare for that, we looked thoroughly at the types of diseases and what impact it has on people's bodies. And the main main thing for me was the, the visual soreness and the welts that were appearing on the body and as well as the, the, the disease embedding itself in the bone marrow and replicating itself in the bone marrow. So it means a fragile bone structure and the incapacity to move properly. Did you know much about smallpox before actually delving into it? No, I mean, for me, my knowledge of smallpox is like, oh, it must be a worse version of chickenpox, you know, maybe a little bit of scratching <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and some redness. Yeah. No, a lot worse, like very visual soreness of welts and these different types of smallpox. So it's real, real nasty stuff. And it's quite an, a, quite an interesting experience. I won't go into what actually happens, but people pretty much get to travel to the island and everything happens on the island. So it's a, mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful thing and I know people want to get out and watch it. Miranda and Scott, thank you so much for joining us on thank the show. You. Scott, you. you're going to get made up a little bit later on. We're going to see that small po smallpox, but good luck with the festival. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And the Wellington Fringe Festival starts February the 18th. To find out more, head to our website. And we'll check back in with Scott to see how the makeup is done just before 10. Time now for something much nicer. Sarah, what's in the goodie bag? It's the not so delicious work of special effects makeup artist. But first, here's Robin. Well, earlier we met Scott from Quarantine, a play in the Wellington Fringe Festival. Let's meet makeup artist Hayley Marlow to see how the special effects makeup for the show is done. Hayley, welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, this is an interesting job that you have. How tough was it, sort of, doing the, the makeup uh, for this um, play, Quarantine? Um, not difficult at all. Really? Yeah, yeah. Did you have to sort of find out a, a lot about smallpox? Definitely, lots of research. Quite disgusting, actually. Really? Um, yeah, definitely. So how long, how long have you been? Um, doing uh, makeup artistry? Um, about five years now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Five years. And um, I'm currently working at Widow, which is quite nice. Right. Yeah, I love that. So tell us how you sort of create the smallpox on, on, his, on his face. Um, at the moment, I'm just using some um, wax. Right. And I'm putting that on and then I'm colouring it in. Right. I'm actually adding a little bit of um, KY jelly. Why do, you, why do you use KY jelly? Um, just to make it all quite weepy. shiny and weepy and quite pussy. Okay. Yeah. And, and how long does it take for you to sort of finish something, something like this, like somebody's face? Um, if I was to do it properly, right. it'd probably take about um, half an hour, three quarters of an hour. Okay. But um, on the show, and I've got it down to about 15 minutes. Okay, so when we nice. come back, we'll be able to see the finished product. Absolutely. Brilliant. Thank you so much for You're that. You're welcome. And Hayley, we'll be back uh, to show off the results of her work before 10.30. <laughs> It's time to see how special effects makeup artist Hayley is getting on. She's breathing life into smallpox as part of the Fringe Festival. Let's see the end result. Hayley, talk us through uh, what you're doing there. And I guess, what, you, what do you use for blood? Um, it's actually a golden syrup mixed with food colouring and oh, really? coffee. Quite yeah. impressive. Thank so basically, you. talk us through how you finished everything off. Okay, so um, I defined his face, just made it more gaunt. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I've just added wax and just give, given it highlights and um, I've added... Um, wax through here to make it look like a gash. Right. And I guess and if you want a deeper gash, you lift it a bit higher. Absolutely. And you can also darken right in through the area as well, so it looks more sunken in. Right. And um, yeah. How does it feel for you, Scott? Well, it feels like a pile of stuff on my face. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. 
bad if it, if it goes in your mouth. Yeah, and it's I, I enjoy it with, with all the stuff on my face, like in, because because you know know where things are, like when you're talking to audience members, because it's a horror. The right. play, yeah, you can kind of layer towards them and maybe like present the uh, the pieces that are more gammy, and because they're so juicy, sometimes they um bits fall off on them and they kind of recoil back a little bit. It's very very impressive, Hayley. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Just quickly oh, about the show, you're looking at taking it to Auckland as well and yeah, around well, the country. Yeah, well, because the show has has sold out and um, we're looking at extending the season in, in Wellington, but right. there is also a possibility of taking it to Matuahe Island in Auckland, right. potentially Quarantine Island in Dunedin, perhaps okay. Quail Island in Christchurch as well, so it's, the play's not over just yet, maybe. Well, good luck with that. Hayley and Scott, thank you so much for joining us and good morning. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Wonderful. You. And the Wellington Fringe Festival starts on the 18th of February. For all the details, check out our website. Sarah, you got some emails? Yes, a lot of GMG.